Tomorrow is Election Day, and a lot of voters have not yet gone to the polls. If you don't get Election Day off and don't know when you're going to find time to cast a ballot, we've got a little bit of convenient law to pass on to you. The law is on your side. Jim Wadhams is a lawyer for Fenimore Craig who can explain the rights that voters have on Election Day. Jim Wadhams, welcome to the program. Thank you, Dave. Always a pleasure. Uh, so you want to vote tomorrow. You don't know when you can get out of work to go to the polls. What should you do? Well, the first thing is you gotta, you got to evaluate how far you are, uh, your place of work is from your office. Uh, if you can stop in and vote before you go to work or after, uh, that's, that's fine. But sometimes people live too far away to do that. And we have a state law that's actually been on the books for quite a number of years that requires um, employers to allow their employees sufficient time to get to their voting place. And it could be up to three hours, uh, and that uh, has to be allowed without any deduction from payroll or, or, or time off or anything like that. So what are the responsibilities do employers have on Election Day besides allowing for, though, for the, that travel? Well, it, actually, the employee has a responsibility to let the employer know that they intend to vote, and they need to let them know today. So this, the actual law says application for the leave or the opportunity to go vote has to be made uh, to the employer today. So people that are planning on voting tomorrow, and I know today in this day and age we have some people that uh, are quite a ways, they live quite a ways from where they work, uh, and if they have to go back to that area to vote, uh, they have to tell the employer today that they plan to go. And uh, the employer is required by law to give them that leave of absence without penalty. Hmm. Now, as you noted, uh, Nevada allow, uh, law allows for up to three hours of paid time off to vote, but you have to be pretty far from a polling place to take that much time off. Are there places in Nevada where it may actually take several hours to vote? Well, the, 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 the uh, interesting you asked that question, Dave, because if, you're more than, if your place of work is more than 10 miles from where uh, you live, uh, you're entitled to three hours. So... Let's assume that we have somebody who lives in Boulder City, one of your listeners that lives in Boulder City, and they're working, let's just say, on the Strip. That's more than 10 miles. Uh, so I, I think as big as our valley has become, there are probably um, opportunities for some of the employees to get that additional time off to do that. Yeah. Is Nevada law similar to other laws around the country? Well, I think this was a fairly common provision that came, and actually our law was adopted in the 1960s. Uh, and I don't think anybody's looked at it too much lately, but it is on the books, and uh, it does make, make, make it clear that employees do have a right to vote, and that needs to be respected by the employers. Hmm. How many people take advantage of paid time off on Election Day? Uh, I, I, that is, is a question that I certainly don't know the answer to. I suspect that most employers probably allow that anyway, but this is, um, I think, your interest today is just to make sure that employees know that they do have that right, and uh, I would just encourage everybody to vote. Jim Wadhams is an attorney for Fenimore Craig. Mr. Wadhams, thanks so much for joining us. You bet. Thank you. There is more conversation just ahead. This is KNPR's State of Nevada. <laughs>